these two boys well they're so close now the place is cleaned and uh, yeah they are really friends Arnie slept outside here last night again and he really enjoyed it this morning when I came by he was so sleepy he didn't get up <laughs> just look at that he is really good friends with MacGyver now seems like they're two like the twins and <laughs> it is absolutely great well Enzo is up let's quickly go say hi to him all the dogs running with there he is and there's Diego as well they were sleeping just now but oh they got out of the pool just look how wet Enzo is and Diego well <laughs> friendly as can be yeah these dogs and tigers are really something else so if you've got a lot of tigers and other animals and you start collecting teeth and whiskers and toenails and all kinds of things then you have to know that be careful when you open it up and there's a cat around because they're going to take those whiskers and run away with him so try and put the cat away first before you start going through it <laughs> little miss sissy pants is just making it difficult for me to measure any of these things because she just wants to take them and run off with them but yeah this is the long tiger whisker that I picked up the other day. And there she takes another one. I'm, I'll get it now. But let's see that. How long can it be? Well, I'm going to put this right there. Line it up. And I'd say, well, I think you can say that it's 22 centimeters. If you're going to press it straight, it's going to be exactly about 22 centimeters. Just watch her. She keeps on taking it right there. Getting it all messed up. Those are teeth from the tigers that I've picked up. And some of which I've helped uh, Ozzy to get them out. Because he was having trouble getting them out and he had some trouble eating with them halfway in his mouth busy falling out and they just wouldn't at that day and I just helped him a little bit I'll show you a video of it <laughs> but yeah they are making it difficult for me to do this but <laughs> let me see so that is 22 yeah I'd say 22 centimeters exactly that's what you can work on and uh, yeah if you convert that to inches it's 8.66 inches and uh, yeah that is the longest one I think I've got. Uh, now little Miss Sassy Pants is also making it a bit difficult for me here. But some of the other ones that I have, only about, well, 17 centimeters. And there's another one of about 18 centimeters. So I think that's what you can work on. I'd say about the average should be about 17 to 18 maybe yeah that's 18 centimeters but 
<laughs> okay, now it's getting out of hand. She's taking that one. Then she drops it. I'm going <laughs> to have to put this away. Now, and they are really getting out of hand now with this. Let's see the teeth. Well, there she takes another one. <laughs> and that one's got one as well. Okay, let me take this. Uh, I think I should just close it up for now. But yeah, there's some teeth. Now, that's about three and a half centimeters. That's just more than an inch. Uh, oh, about an inch and a half. An inch and a half. I'd say that's what you can average these teeth at, probably. I'm going to have to just take a proper measurement with this. But yeah, that one's quite smaller. Now that D, that's Diego. And <laughs> I remember this one. I remember it very well. And yeah, I'll have to go through all of this. And also the thickness. This is the thickest one I think I might have here. Yeah? And they are just playing with it. And they are not stopping. I'm going to have to take it away from them first. I think let me rather get to a more controlled area. And I'll take some more measurements. And I'll show you guys later. But I'm going to have to check out the thickness as well. And yeah, you can see exactly how thick they are. These are all teeth that came from the tigers. Just look at that. I've got quite a few. These are those scissors I'm always talking about. You don't want to get in their way. They will chop your finger right off. And I actually think that this specific one almost chopped my little pinky off once. Uh, it was very close. I just got my fingers straight onto Enzo's, well, other front teeth. And I was able to pry his mouth open and get my finger out. But, yeah, I'll show you guys exactly the thickness and length of these teeth and whiskers so these days when i start to show up with the tiger's food the first thing that happens is diego distance himself from enzo and enzo gets that look on his face look at that the cute look with the round eyes and the big teeth and here it comes enzo and he's got it straight again he's getting better and better at catching and diego he doesn't care still but that's okay well, Diego moves away from Enzo because I've seen he's really got a lot of respect for Enzo these days. Enzo, well, he's still himself, but he did get a bit of an appetite now that the winter has come to an end. And actually, it's supposed to be the other way around. When it's cold, they eat more. But for some reason... Enzo has just started eating way more and he's got the appetite like you won't believe but Diego who is actually supposed to eat more than Enzo well he doesn't so there is different things that influences even the diet of these tigers because I mean while they're growing they should eat more because their body needs more to sustain the growth and it's just the opposite way around. So I'm still figuring it out. I'll still be figuring out a lot of things about tigers. And eventually get to it all. Diego just thought that I was, or that one chicken was taking the other one. <laughs> well, I think we're just scratching the surface with learning about all these animals. And uh, let's see. Maybe I come across the reason why he's eating more, but he does enjoy it. Maybe it's just out of enjoyment, but I don't think so. I think there is something influencing their diet. Well, all the cats are over here. They're just waiting for me to give them some chickens as well. And uh, yeah, then they will all just be enjoying it. Vegetarian cat, not here at all. He is the only one that stays away. But, just to show you guys, look at little friendliest cat in the world over there, having fun with the toys. 
there's toys everywhere and they are just all enjoying it well guys that's it for today i'm gonna go let me just throw a few more chickens over here to diego as well and uh, to cut us over there <laughs> and uh, yeah all the cats just waiting actually to be honest seems like little miss sissy pants over there has stopped eating she's done already but yeah four stages of feeding them the other day there was three and now there's four because i forgot about the tin of cat food that they also eat well sometimes in the mornings and most of the time at night as well so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and like always have a great day